Hi, some months ago I did a version of this as a black and white study for my daughter. <clears throat> it was twice the size of the Fabriano that I'm using here. It was uh, half imperial, this is 15 inches by 11. But uh, I've, I've had a lot of interest in it and, 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 and there are a number of people that would like copies of it. So I'll, I'll have a go at another one but on a much smaller scale. Got my cup of tea. Now, interestingly, the uh, the palette is uh, not the palette. Um, the, I, I use a, a lid, uh, a plastic lid, to put my paint. Excuse me, I'll go with this. I'll just enlarge it. Not that I need it, so I'm not going to do a copy of it. I never do copies. Otherwise, it's, so it's just not really art, is it? I'm just copying all the time. Um, I, I, I've used, used this lid for, well, I've used several of these lids for mixing the paint. And I put a, a bit of um, the uh, dilute PVA glue in here because I was using the wider brushes. It wouldn't, it wouldn't go in the pot that I was using. And then I, I did a, a, a black, uh, something in black. I painted the edges of some block canvases. And I wanted to use it again. Now I've just taken that out of the middle. That that is what the, um, acrylic is. Is plastic, and it didn't stick to the plastic underneath. Uh, look, it's probably still a little bit. It might even be a bit tacky inside because I put quite a thick bit on it on it. But it just goes to show that plastic, waterproof plastic, you could. If that was a bit bigger, you could use that to keep the, keep the rain off your head. It's waterproof, waterproof plastic. That's PVA, PVA glue. That's, that's what acrylic paint is. So, uh, I've got a bit of uh, gallery of winter inducing, so I'll just squeeze some out in the middle and I'll do a, a quick a quick sketch of the, of the confines of it. I'll, I'll just uh, come up here. And I'll enlarge it a bit. Okay, because you don't need to see me put in the brushes. I'm going to use small brushes. One like that, probably one a bit bigger. And uh, let's have a look. One that it doesn't matter if I muck up. Uh, because I want to put some ivy on the tree. I love ivy. Most people don't. But they're, uh, for an artistic subject, they are wonderful. And they cover up a multitude of sins as well. So we'll have a bit of a bit of a background there. And I can put in some hedgy stuff around it. And we'll have the tree cover we'll have to be in the middle because it's a study of a of a, of an oak tree and we just get it coming up all over the place. Loads of branches coming out to the we'll make sure your branches are or your trunks are big enough to hold up the the weight of, of, of this tree. So I will put a nice nice shape. I've read, I read somewhere that I've never really tried to prove it otherwise, but um, trees tend to be the shape of the leaves. So um, an, an oak leaf is sort of nice roundy edges and you can probably see that in, in that photograph. What we try to avoid here is uh, is symmetry. We don't want anything repeat, repeating itself. And we're going to some coming out and around here. Some coming down, some going up, some going behind. So there's our basic basic tree, and we can just put some stuff in there. Right, tea, cup of water. And the way we go, let's uh, not quite the way we go. I don't mind the little brushes, right? We'll have that little brush there, just a worn out brush. I'll just wet the, the put some water on the palette. Now, this Windsor and Newton black seems a little bit oily, but I suppose it is. It's probably just me, so we'll, we'll just let's come up here. I'm just doing a silhouette. Go for 
the uh, undulations of the, the glasses and the stuff around it. They become thicken up later. Oops, become a bit heavier than that. So let's just get that up there. I'm, I'm going to wave the tree, so. Oops, I splodged. I changed easels <coughs> because I've got to take through two table easels and uh, and the hedge on herring metal easel down for a a sale a church sale. <coughs> well, it's open to the public. They, we buy tables and uh, sell our wares or try to sell our wares. Mine, no doubt, will be the most expensive because we're all hand done and. But if anybody's in the Wallington area on Saturday, Park Parkgate Road, South London, postcode SM6, something like that. I'm not uh, looking at the uh, the model. I'm just just working away at uh, at all these branches. So I'm going behind. It's going to be quite thick because holding up the weight. of all the leaves and the twigs and some going up behind. And they're very, very uh, wiggly at the tips. You've got to wave all the branches, they, they sort of... A little wiggle. I haven't seen how the demo of the previous one is. How many views, it's had quite a few views, it was good on Facebook. So all my stuff of the previous months, I've given a link on Facebook. I will use put a canopy on, on or show where the canopy is, where that my pencil lines are. Some crossing. I mean, you you could spend hours doing this sort of thing. But you know my work. I don't. I don't do uh, slow base copies of anything. I I try to to make things up as much as possible. It's as good as ink, really. Diluted ink. Look at that thick in there. Doesn't seem to be much point in buying acrylic ink when you've got acrylic paint because it's probably all the same.
Well, we're coming up. By the time we got some ivy on that, it would be great. Right, let's get this one coming over there. Thicken that up here, down here. You've got to taper all this. Okay, coming on. So we've got a tree coming on. It's really nice to do. Don't worry about wasting paper because if you're using Fabriano it's cheap enough. And if you muck it up you can always paint on the other side, and I do. And then if you muck both sides up use an acrylic. Or an oil. Watercolour paper is very durable. You can paint an oil straight onto it, same as you can with acrylic. It will soak in, of course. But no matter. Okay, that comes all the way out to the ends. Or to the where the can the uh, shape of that canopy is. I never worry about wasting time because every time you do something that's not very good, it's a bit closer to doing something that is good. None of this is talent. It's just I've done a lot of it, and I didn't stop when I couldn't do it. Didn't give up. And I wouldn't say my work is pretty is good. My drawing certainly isn't. I don't practice drawing. I, 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 life's too short now to, to to do all that. I, I draw with the brush. That's it. Oh, nice. Now we're going to develop this side here because I've got a lovely thick branch coming up here. So we've got to make it thick. So we'll get that coming right down. There. That's got a little bit of right there. But Looking like a branch that would have some ivy on it. Yeah, pin drop. Oops, sticking that one up a little bit. The idea is, is to try to make some of it look as if it's coming in front and some going behind. Okay, now that's a bit dry, we could just come up here. You should enjoy your painting. You shouldn't be discouraged, just keep at it, just keep going, don't quit. What was that thing? I will show that shape with a, some loose, very thin down paint. 
I'm going to do it with one of my good brushes. I bought two number eight sables very cheaply for four pounds each, and I can't find them. It's in the mess on my desk somewhere. It might even be on the floor. to there. I'm not wiggly enough on these. I might make them a bit thicker. That'll make it wiggly. You can see where I get bored, it goes a little bit sketchy. I'm going to have to bring my attention back. I'm not, not masking you, or oh, I am. If I move the camera around a bit, different angle, then I won't mask. Because it's only the centre bit that's really, really of interest. It's very difficult to get an ideal. position for the camera, I mean it's only a camcorder that I use, that my daughter kindly gave me a couple of years ago, I was just using a five pound webcam when I first started, but it's got the screen opens on the left hand side of the camera looking that way, otherwise I would have it on my other side. And also, I can't pause in rec and record because it makes another video, which is a bit of a pain. But all the time I've got this lovely, it's a lovely camera. All the time I've got it, I will use it the way it is. But but then I, my next one, I'll know what I really want. It won't be a professional job, but it will, it will, I'll be able to pause, answer the phone, make a cup of tea, come back. And carry on with the video because at the moment I can't, it just makes another video, then that has to be all be edited and I can't be really doing that. that. Life's too short. I think it's about, well, let's get some, some of these across there and some in here. This time I'll put the canopy on and then start to work a bit. And then I can go back at the end of this. Uh, right, okay. Now, um, with my sable, yes, I suppose I should. No, I, I'll use this nylon mix, nylon sable mix. Right, I'll, this is my little parts. But I only want to. A little bit, so let's just because it's waterproof when it's dry, it, it won't drag. So, let's keep away from from the wet bits. A little bit harder stuff here, isn't it? But that's quite nice in there because it's a nice, nice shape. So we've got to develop into that. Okay. Right, so 
Oh, it's my phone. It's in my pocket. I wonder where it was. Right, okay, clean that, clean the brush. Now, well, I did have a cheap one uh, What will happen if I do that? Nah, let's try that one. Look, ivy sign. Could have a bit darker with it. So it covers up the the outline that I've already done on the tree, so it's going to be a bit thicker there. There's plenty of air. Down here and up here. What is attractive, and probably more than the drawing of this, is is the contrast between the black and the white. You can't get a bigger contrast, can you, really? So it, it flatters to deceive, really. Another idiom. Okay, so we, we've got something going on there. Now let's use this brush to do do this. The shadow. And the bushy stuff. Just to give a give a base. Bit of shadow here in the grasses. Use a big brush to do this. Right. Maybe I can go a bit heavier in that canopy. Maybe I should. So let's see what let's see what happens. I'm gonna hold the hand the, the brush like that. That's a bit too regular, that line, isn't it? But anyway. By the time I put some uh, Branch it back in there. That would be a lot better. Okay. Good. Good scrub with the brush. And then. In here we'll just stiffen that off, still going to do more work now, just want to let that go, let's 
Put some detail in this now. But see how easy that detail is. It looks like grass because I'm just clumps of grass because I'm flicking up. Don't want to do too much of this. Probably have, but by the time it's in a mount, that will look, that'll look great. Right, let's go back with that. Uh, with some of this now. wasn't the brush I was using to begin with. No, that's the one. Yeah, just, just go into the... into that canopy. I call it a canopy, I suppose the canopy is the top, but... but I'll just see where all the twigs end, end up in the, in the shape of that. Oak leaf. Oh, let's so thicken this one up here. Master in a moment when I go and do the. When you do these, you can always turn the board over and, and work upside down on it if it makes it easier. You don't have to keep it in the same position. I just remembered that because that's what I used to do. That's what I mean, see? So I turn it upside down. Or right. oh, you still there, let's cut it down a bit. And now I can work into these. That right, makes it much easier. Oh. That's to say you can't do that. Get the wriggly bits coming in, it's coming right out to the edge. Don't know what I've done there. Now, this is not a botanical specimen.
Right, let's uh, turn it up that way. Right, I'll put it so you can see. I'm now coming down into, into that area. be thick enough to take the weight otherwise it'll be breaking off when it comes to the summer with all the weight of the leaves or a bit of snow in the winter. I'm going to take my easels and a load of paintings down to the church hall later. Proving to be quite popular in various churches, it's letting out the halls for sort of thing, antiques or clothing, good good stuff. Not not tat you, nobody wants, so like a jumble sale, like Christmas presents that you don't like, or anything, anything you want to get rid of. That was, that was a value. Right, I reckon we've uh, gone as far as we can on that. Uh, let's uh, just put the clip on. Well, I'm going to put a mountain in it. I think we've, we've gone on long enough for the demo. Uh, put a signature on it. I wondered if I could really just strengthen up the edge, but I thought I don't want to overdo it. So I'll just put a mount on it and see. Oops, fill, fills the uh, space. Oh, we've covered too far. Let's go. Let's get more centre. Oops. All right. Well, there we are. That didn't take that long, did it? It's quite a. That wasn't difficult. The fact it was quite quite easy. I've, I need to thicken up some more. Of. Uh, these branches here. There's the model, and, but there's much, much more work in, in, in the canopy. But I've simplified it. You can be on that for hours, but uh, I don't really want to be on there for hours. So thanks for watching. I'll, I'll put it on YouTube, and we'll see. I might do a bit more to it, but I might not. Bye bye.